Hi everybody, Brian Moraska with Operation Barbecue Relief. Today, we're gonna to do a little bit of a twist on a steak skewer recipe from Zimbabwe. So first thing we gotta do is combine all of our marinade ingredients in a bowl and mix it together. So first we got Wishsire. We have ginger paste. We got minced garlic. That's going to pack a, pack a big flavor. Now we got some hot sauce. Got just some simple yellow plain mustard. Got some brown sugar. It's going to add a little bit of sweetness to it. Just for the tape, for the a little bit of difference. This is uh, yogurt, just plain yogurt. Get all out here. Got some A1 steak sauce. We got some seasonal to give just a nice roundabout flavor with your salt and your pepper. Uh, then we got some garlic and herb seasoning. And then we're gonna add a little bit of our Cajun Bial steak Rub, our OBR rub. It's gonna give it a real good steaky flavor. All right. And lastly, we're gonna squeeze some lemon juice in here. All right, that's gonna round out the flavor. All right. So now we're gonna mix this all up. Now this is going to cover our ribeye steak. So we've taken ribeye steak and we've cut them into one by one cubes. And now we're going to add this to the marinade. All right. Now this is very important. Now we're going to mix everything up so all the steak gets covered uh, with the marinade. Very simple, but it packs a bunch of flavor. All of our steak is now nice and covered. So now what we want to do is we want to take this back in, we want to cover it so it's nice to seal, and we want to put it in the refrigerator for a minimum of, of two hours. If you want to go a little bit further, no problem. There's more flavors are going to get imparted. So I'm going to go inside, get this in the fridge, and I'll see you in a couple hours. All right, so our ribeye cubes have now marinated for a couple hours in the fridge. Smelling great. Can't wait to get them on the skewers, get them in the grill. So first thing is, I got my skewers in water because they're uh, wood skewers, so we don't want them to burn. When you soak them in the water, they won't burn as much. So got that. I got the grill set to about four to 500 degrees. So we'll be ready to go when we get them on the grill. First thing, we'll grab a few skewers and we're gonna skewer the ribeyes onto the skewers. Nothing special here. One thing I did know from doing a little bit of research is they like to uh, skewer the meat on nice and tight here. Uh, because they like to get char. And who doesn't like a lot of char in their grilling? And we are working with raw protein at this point. As you can see, I got, a, I got gloves on. We don't want to cross contaminate when we're grilling out in the backyard. I also got a second cutting board here so that we can remove it once we get done with the raw protein. Alright, we're going to take the skewers over to the grill, get them on the grill. We're going to put them, we're going to cook them about each side about two minutes and we're going to get a nice charred flavor. So, reserve the marinade because we're going to amp it up here in a second. All right, it's now been about two minutes that we've had the steak skewers on the grill. We're gonna rotate them, and we're gonna wanna rotate them every two minutes on each side so that all the sides get nice and charred and finished.
All right, we're going to turn it up just a little bit. So we keep about that four to 500 degrees. Now, earlier we talked about keeping the marinade. Now, on the next turn, I'm going to see where we're at, but I want to use this marinade to be able to brush on those steak skewers and give a little bit more of an added punch. So we're going to wait another two minutes and we'll check the steak. So we just are about to turn it to its fourth side, make sure that we got the char all the way around. We're gonna give it a little brush to the leftover marinade as well to give that little extra punch. And they're starting to get fantastic char on them. So we're gonna take the marinade, we're just gonna brush it right over the top. All right, while we let them finish, I'm going to use a thermometer just to check to make sure that we're done on the internal temperature. Now on a ribeye steak, I like to be in the 135s for a nice medium rare. We are actually right at 132, so it's about perfect. While we let those finish cooking for a few seconds here, finish them on this plate right here. So in Zimbabwe they like to pair things with rice so we got a nice little uh, rice here. We're gonna put the skewers uh, at an angle right here and then it's gonna be time for us to eat. Let's give the skewers a check here and see if we're looking good. All right, we're gonna plate up the skewers now. All right, these skewers look fantastic. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit more of our Santa Maria steak seasoning, and I'm just gonna just drizzle just a little bit over the top just for a little finishing so that you get the flavor when you take a bite into it. This is my twist on Zimbab Zimbabwe steak skewers. I hope you all enjoy.